In this episode, let's look at what we should be looking for in a dry hire room. Every room is different, but to get the job done right, there's a few things you need to check. Let's look at a few fundamentals that are essential to you being able to mix the perfect show. First things first, you cannot mix in any old room. There are corners, alcoves, reflective surfaces, and plain old extraneous noise. Fundamentally, you need an isolated room that has its monitoring balanced for the shape of the room. Just like any instrument, you need to have your mix room balanced for the response of your speakers in that space. There are companies that specialize in tuning your room. You need to get onto them for a quote. So when you're hiring a room, make sure that it's been tuned. Your mix depends on it. When you've confirmed the tuning of the room, the next thing you need to do is to make sure that the level of your monitoring is correct. When mixing for broadcast, you need to have your monitors calibrated to 79 dB because generally these rooms will be a little smaller. In film, 85 decibels because stages are much bigger. You'll need a sound level meter. So play out some pink noise from your DAW and calibrate your monitors to the appropriate level for the room. The monitor position is incredibly important. Make sure each of the left and the right monitors are at a 45 degree angle to your central mix position. The monitor position for the surround sound is slightly different in that left and right should be between 22 and 30 degrees. The surround left and right should be between 110 and 120 degrees and the center speaker should be positioned right in front of you. And because of the nature of the sub frequencies, you can place your sub pretty much anywhere in front of you. Going into a strange room can be a little weird sometimes especially when you're used to going into other studios. Your ears get comfortable with the response. Another thing you're used to is the workflow. Check that you're comfortable with the mouse and the keyboard. Does the facility have to hand all the plugins that would be part of your typical arsenal? Nothing breaks a good workflow sooner than when you shoot over to your plugins to fix something simple and your favorite tool is not there. Try to have all your own plugins on an e-licensor or iLock so that you have everything with you. You're a nice person. Think about you. Is the chair you're gonna be in for the next eight hours gonna support your back and not leave you uncomfortable? Is there natural light and fresh air? Is there somewhere to go and have a break, change your surroundings and have a cup of tea? Think about the nice people you work with. Will the room suit them and their needs? Now think about any artist coming into that situation. Are they standing at the mic? Would they prefer a stool or a seat during takes? Is the monitor high enough for them to look at for sustained periods? If there's anything that you need within reason, I'm sure that the studio owner would welcome the suggestions. Where and how you work is exceptionally important. You're gonna be there for a long time. Be good to yourself and the people you have with you. You're hiring a space that you all need to get the job done right. And in surroundings that lend themselves to the application of the job and ultimately the final product. I'm Keith Alexander and you've been watching Adorama TV. Don't forget to subscribe to Adorama TV for more great videos and tell us what you think. You can like, comment or share this video and please come by the Adorama Learning Center for more great information and advice.